This is the future. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Sigval Grim here and welcome to another video. So currently on my main account, Heartbreak Harley Quinn is my second 7 star character. I wanted to go with Catwoman but I somehow did not have enough shirts to get Catwoman to 7 stars and I was like, yeah, let's just go with Harley. So that is uh, particularly what we did over here. So we got uh, Harley uh, to 7 stars. Those are the stats that she currently has. And I think she's actually very, very close to a perfect build because what I would consider a perfect build for my Harley at the very least because I got some uh, artifacts with little attack damage would be the exact same things that she's got so far plus uh, a little attack damage ep uh, legendary talent because apparently that thing is, exists. So uh, I'm gonna eventually try and get that. This crit chance I don't think I'm ever gonna bother swapping because if I get it from rare to epic it's gonna give me one more crit chance. I don't think that's so relevant. But yeah, enough with that. Let's see it in action and some other league grid fights. Okay, so through upgrading her to 7 star she got uh, somewhere between 500 to 600 attack. And look, in Soul Raids, when you're getting like uh, above 20k attack from your Soul Raid artifacts, that is literally nothing. But in League Raids, in League Raids, it's something that can make a pretty big difference actually. So we're going to fight Grod here, we use the Supernova Parley, we're going to attack her in again to keep up the old Blade stacks. And yeah, we're still very reliant on no matter how much attack you get, you can't deal damage unless your stun slants. And yeah, that's a stun. Over there. And yes, uh, if anybody wants to let me know in the comments that they should finish this uh, first combo into a swipe right be before beginning the second, I am fully aware of that. For some reason, that is very, very hard to achieve while I'm playing on an emulator from a keyboard. For some reason, the combo just doesn't flow well that way on an emulator. But yeah, uh, so far, I'm very lucky with the stuns. Another one, and yeah, that's finally a stun resist there from Grod. I mean, not necessarily finally, I was not like waiting for it or something, but that was bound to happen eventually. Tagging Harley in there again to not lose the old blade stacks. Not a stun in there. There we go. Harley back in to deal some damage. Arkham Knight Batman back in. Please stun again. Also, we have old blades on Harley. Uh, we have uh, an old blades with one epic attack, one epic lethal attack damage, and one rare lethal attack damage. And Batman will go with a sort of sin. Because the burning effect is quite essential, because it reduces the defensive growth, and uh, yes, I know I have armor pierce on my basic attacks, but uh, again, armor pierce on basic attacks does not count for swipes, so you're losing a lot of damage there if the enemy has defense. And yeah, finally a stun landed again, we, we had a few unlucky ones, but he's stunned again. And at this point it's looking very good, because we got 1 minute and 10 seconds and this is pretty low on health, but another stun fails and at this point I start to lose hope, because obviously we're looking for one shot here. Batman even get hits, uh, gets hit at this point, I'm like, nah, I blew it, there's no way, but the stun lands. Harley gets back in there, deals a quite reasonable amount of damage if you ask me. Batman back in there, another stun lands, look at that! And we finally don't mess up the combo. Batman back in there, another special 2. Harley gets uh, tagged into a block, that's fine, we only wanted to tag her for the old blade stacks. He stun resist this one, but over here I, I decide to stay, to try for one more stun, there we go, Harley back in there. And it's gonna be a close one, it's gonna be a very close one, and it's gonna be one that's very reliant on luck. And another stun resist at this point, I'm like, nah, it's over, it's over, we can't do it, there's no way. But this stun lands, there we go, Harley in there, and we might have enough time for yet another stun. If this lands, this is gonna seal the deal, lands, and with 4 seconds left, Harley in there doing some hits, 2 seconds left, let's go! We one shot Grodd, lads. We one shot tier 8 Grodd with a classic Harley team, no Raven involved. So I'm very happy with that. Now getting to the next team, we're going to use Deathstroke plus a Rebanshi. And the, not necessarily the problem, but the thing with this fight is that uh, uh, Silver Banshee can already deal uh, the amount of damage that is gonna result from this. Obviously, I don't, I haven't optimized the gameplay so far. And you'll see that at the start, we will have a particularly bad time. But the thing is, uh, Silver Banshee can go all the way to 45 mil or above 40 mil uh, with perfect gameplay if she gets lucky on crit and she tends to not get lucky on crits quite often. 
so what this uh, strategy aims to do rather than uh, add a crazy amount of damage to the fight because look or the the amount of damage we're dealing with Deathstroke special 2 is the same amount that sort of banshee deals with the special tree sometimes even far higher we're just doing it more often we're not reliant on crits so the, the Deathstroke addition to this team is kind of meant to not rely so much on the luck with the crits and guarantee a certain amount of damage and at the end after Deathstroke is done with his special twos we're going to uh, go ahead and uh, get Zero Banshee in uh, to deal some damage throughout the remainder of the fight. Deathstroke back in there. And yeah, we, we, we again failed to kind of chain anything from a tagging combo, even though the tagging combo landed. It is what it is. The, the gameplay of Deathstroke is still absolute garbage. We're going to tank this because we got Entropy, we can afford it. So we, we didn't die there, that was no problem. Uh, just waiting for one more special uh, two. There we go, now we're going to swap into Reverse Flash again. We're actually not, so now we're gonna set power generation is decent, we generate some with some crits that we get from time to time. Okay, another percentage damage there, I think a, a mistake was not tagging Reverse Flash at some point here, because I really, really set a lot with this stroke on low energy, and there we go, that was not a percentage damage, so we're done with that, now we need to transition to Silver Banshee. Silver Banshee in there, special 2, backing off into a special 1. Again, this is not the perfect execution of this fight, but this is far better than how we did last time, 2 disables. Reverse Flash back in there, building some combos or bench in there for a special tree. That's a crit. A 2.3 mil crit because we are only on two Oblast stacks, but it is what it is. So we're benching back in there. And that's not a crit. Boy. Like, this or benching really didn't want to work with Deathstroke on this one. She really didn't feel like it. Another non crit. Let's go. Sorbanch is like, oh, she thinks I'll get unlucky and she she wants to mitigate that by using Deathstroke. I'll show him unlock, though to be fair, she did crit there for a fat tree mill. Reverse flash back in Sorbanchi, special tree, another non crit. Only one crit out of four so far. Boy, that's that doesn't sound right. And yeah, we messed up there and we didn't do a special tree. But even if I blocked his animation, wouldn't have allowed me to do a special tree because the fight would have been over. But yeah, one out of four special scripted, 42 mil, that's that's fine. That's 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 okay, that's reasonable. Getting in here with the Batman Ninja team. Over here I want to try another strategy because somebody um, uh, suggested uh, on the last stream that I should try finishing my combos with Catwoman into, for, with the jump attack at the end of them before using the special to get the optimal uh, attack up dot damage. And I was like, yeah, I'm up to try that, we'll try that next stream. And uh, I did, and we'll, we'll, we'll take a look how that went. Supermove in there, the other two characters are close to dying, so there's no problem with me actually starting to attack this dude, because you usually you don't want to attack him with Catwoman, even if she gets tagged in early, because if the other two characters are not low enough to die fast, then uh, that's not gonna be a good time for you. Because you need only Catwoman alive, but yeah, I've went over this a thousand times. And yeah, I tried that over there and it doesn't work. It doesn't work. First, first time we try that, he blocks the jump attack. Like, the idea is that all the characters deal a ton of damage with the jump attack. But uh, that was not that relevant because it the jump attack sucks so much in most scenarios when you use it and it just doesn't fit into the combo. And it was not enough of a damage difference for it to be worth doing that, but now with the beta club dot damage, uh, there, there might be something. And yeah, uh, finally a successful one that doesn't get blocked. Engage that combo into a jump attack. There we go. The thing is, the jump attack you do at the end, as you might be able to see at points, is not even integrated into your combo in theory, because at times he starts attacking, the, the enemy is really like, oh, he finished his combo, so that's that's like something new at the end of it. Another jump attack in there. And yeah, we got some decent dot damages from this at the start, but then we also got the crazy low values from time to time, so... 
I don't know, well, this seems interesting. This definitely seems like an interesting strategy that I might try one or two times to see how it goes. It doesn't seem to me to make too much of a difference, to be honest, compared to the other strategies. Like, in this, it's still gonna be very luck-reliant with the dot values. And in this one, that, as you'll see at the end, I did slightly less damage than when I literally played this fight. Like, I, like pretending I had close the forest and not caring about the dot damages and just see how it goes at the end. Another special 2 in there to reset the dots. We're starting to uh, get some decent dot values towards the end, but it's a little bit too late right now. We only got 30 seconds, and it's called dot per second for a reason. You, you kind of depends on how much time is left out of the fight on that one. And yeah, then now, now crazy low values again. I don't know, man. They really haven't fixed the beta club. They really haven't. So as I said, now you get on average the outcome that you would get in a perfect scenario with the previous state the beta club was in. So I guess that's something. Okay, so yeah, that's 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 it for the scarecrow fight with Catwoman, and we did uh, 67. A little bit short of 69. Would have loved the 69. And yeah, now we're going to go on the secondary count, and we're going to clean Scarecrow, and boy, I was excited for this one, because this is one of my favorite, not necessarily my favorite, but a fight that has a long history for this channel, because uh, as I was getting into League Raids again for the first time, and I was uh, learning, the first fight I learned to, let's say, almost perfection was the fight against Scarecrow with Kimplan Sakuman in Classic Super Nintendo Sport. Obviously, I haven't played this, uh, I think, in like a year, so this will not be the perfect one. It'll still do well enough. Okay, so uh, Dr. Pate's gonna tank the super move there, so that's gonna be totally fine. Reduce his uh, defense with classic Superman. And yeah, over here we should have left him die, because he will die on the next tag in without getting to do one more special uh, uh, 2 as I wanted to. King gets hit, though it's okay, it's okay. King, get, King can get hit as much as we want now, because he can get revived. Previously, you would want to make 100% sure he doesn't die until the Scarecrow does a super move because the Scarecrow would kill you with that and you need to revive. But you already did that on Dr. Pit, so we don't really care. And yeah, we only managed to uh, squeeze in, as far as I remember, only two special twos of Classic Superman. That's not ideal because this dude has got 75% uh, defense and we already used 25% defense for tagging. So if, if you guys are good at maths, you can easily figure out that he still got 40% uh, defense. I'm kidding, 25. But yeah, that will still make a difference. So that's that's something to keep in mind. And right, right now we're just spinning him to a corner, combo dropping him, eating out special trees. We have Claws of Force. Firebox? Firebox is a far safer artifact to use here indeed. It's going to be far safer because of the huge health regen it gives you. Also, you're also going to have that low range gap close that I'm missing out on here after doing the super move. But at the same time, Close of Forest tends to pull slightly more damage than the power box because it's usually going to be at higher level because it's far easier to get the Close of Forest to level uh, uh, 10 than it is a power box. And at the same time, uh, Close of Forest, even though not much, it gives you attack. Though not that much, not that much as much as you expect, it gives you attack and this boosts your damage on both specials and basic attack hits. All firebox only boosts your damage for swipes, it doesn't care about your specials. Another special train there. Come on, interrupting him again. Come on, interrupting again. Again, if you guys struggle with combo interruption, I mean, and what happened there? I was like, what happened there on stream? This dude straight up combo interrupted me. So as I was saying, if you guys struggle with combo interruption, try what Scarecrow did there to me. I don't know what he did, but it seems to be working. But yeah, if you if you struggle to combo interrupt, this is gonna be kind of an entry fight because if you can get past uh, the start of the fight without your whole team dying and you get to the point where you're solo against this dude, it's not gonna be that hard. He's got slow basic attack hits. But yeah, well, that being said, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe if you did, and I'll hopefully see you all in the next one. And like it if you did. Goodbye. This is the future.